Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about the best super fund in Australia. Let's get into it. So the best super fund in Australia is Q Super. I recently switched over from local government super to Q Super because of their low fees. And this video is going to be based purely on fees. It's not going to be related to performance at all because super funds are essentially managed funds. And I don't really believe you can analyze a managed fund in relation to performance. It's just completely random. A fund that performed well last year is not, not guaranteed to perform well next year, more likely to perform poorly. They're completely random, so I'm not going to base this at all on performance. So QSuper, for me, is the best. I'm in the age group 18 to 24, like a lot of my viewers are. So I allocated my investment, my super investment within QSuper to 20% in Australian shares and 80% in international shares. They allow you to sort of do a do-it-yourself option so you can allocate however much you would like to say bonds or you can't do property, but you could do like aggressive uh, international shares, Australian shares, you could do socially responsible or you could do a balanced option so you can pick and choose like different allocations maybe you could go 20% aggressive 20% cash 20% bonds you can do it however you like and that's one of the reasons I also like Q Super 4 because I'm really young in terms of you know in comparison to you know the working population I'm quite I'm still quite young at 21 so I don't really need to be conservative with those funds I can afford to lose them, especially since if there's a crash and they all go down, I can still live through the years and work and make money and make that money back as the stock market recovers, as it always does. For the two options I chose, which are the cheapest options within Q Super, and that's why I chose them, the other ones aren't as great. They're still probably fair options, but they're not the best. These two options are the best that I've found, there may be others out there because the supermarket in Australia is absolutely saturated. There are so many funds. I really struggled to research all of them. Obviously, I didn't get to all of them, so there's a very real chance that maybe I missed something, but this is what I found. International shares with QSuper cost 0.3% per annum. That's it. There's no other fees. That 0.3% makes is made up of two different fees. There's 0.20%, 0.2% administration fee, and then there's a 0.10% investment fee that goes to the managers who run the fund. They're lowering their fees soon. Their administration fee is going down from 0.2% to 0.18%. 0.18%. Not a massive drop. Not really super significant, but that it's cheaper, it's a little bit cheaper. And the Australian shares option, I have 80 in international shares, 20 of my allocation of my super funds is 80% international, 20% Australian, and my Australian shares, the Australian shares option is slightly cheaper, it costs 0.28% per annum, it'll go down to 0.26% per annum when that administration fee drops, that's happening sometime in the future. I'll put it up on the screen. And those are really good fees. Those are really low fees. Those are comparable to the Vanguard Index Fund ETF fees. They're really good. For comparison's sake, I'm going to have a look at the biggest super fund in Australia, which is what I do with a lot of my videos. I take a look at the one I've chosen and then I compare it to the biggest. With Australian Super, who's the biggest fund in Australia, they also allow you to do a do-it-yourself option. You can allocate your shares between the different options like cash, property, shares like I said before and they're not bad they're really not bad there's one of the options is actually even better than QSuper but just be wary they also carry an additional administration fee on top of those fees so they charge a uh, $78 per year I think it's $1.50 per week charge on top of those fees as well so watch out for that QSuper doesn't do that at all but in terms of like a direct comparison between the Australian shares and the international shares option, with the Australian shares option within Australian Super, the fees aren't too bad at all, really. They're 0.26%, which when that 0.02% drop in QSuper's administration fees comes through, that'll be exactly the same. But you do have to pay that $78 a year fee 
on top of that as well so it's a little bit more and the international shares are at 0.63 percent per annum which is obviously a lot worse than q super that's a, a big difference between those two with q super 0.3 percent and that at 0.63 percent that's a lot of money over a 50-year career that you could be paying in fees to australian super but really i'm surprised with how reasonable those fees are they're not awful but Q Super is better. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a like below and subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this. Anyway, guys, I'm out. See ya.